Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back to my channel. Now that the dust has settled, I've had a bit of chance to recover from uh, NiceCon uh, this year. It, uh, it was amazing as usual, and I thought I'd show you guys some of the, the really, really good stuff that, uh, that I found this year. Um, first of all, I have to show you the nice poster. Now, I've got to make sure I don't butcher the name, but this is a poster that's created by Fernando Dagnino. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, absolutely beautiful. I've got a couple of signatures here, which I'll be getting to shortly. Um, yeah, I really, really like this. I, I really, really liked last year's Venom print, and uh, it, it just seems like each, each print just gets better and better, really. Um, okay, starting off. I was very lucky to meet Adi Granoff. Uh, he signed a copy of my Extremis, and I've also got X Men Second Coming number one signed personally, and then one of my favourite covers of him, which is X Men number one, which is the Curse of the Mutants, again signed personally, which was amazing, and to to see him work was fantastic. It really was. These artists that I see there are just. It's incredible to see them where they're actually working. It's, it's amazing to see the, the final print, the, the final piece of artwork, but it's, it's just something, something else entirely to see them while they're actually doing it. It's, it's really mind blowing. Okay, someone else that I met, I was very lucky to meet. Last year I missed out on him, unfortunately, but this year I was finally able to meet David Hine, a uh, co-creator of Spider-Man Noir. So uh, this will be going up alongside my Ultimate Spider-Man and then my Amazing Spider-Man. Um, I love the Spider-Man Noir character and I was very lucky to meet uh, Fabrice Sapolsky and now I've met David Hine, two of the creators of uh, Spider-Man Noir. So yes, that, uh, that one is, is, is quite special to me, it really is. Sorry, yes. Um, I think you guys have, have already seen uh, Esad Ribic. Uh, I love Conan number one when I read that. I thought it was a very, very good story. His covers are just unbelievably good. They are so, so rich. And to see someone do the water-based colors was, was fantastic. It really was. I'm a big fan of, of Alex Ross and and this ad does the same sorts of things. And then these are absolutely beautiful. They really are. This is a silent issue that was done by him. I briefly talked about it, I think, in a previous episode. Um, but again, signed by him. And his artwork is just truly phenomenal. It really, really, really is. Uh, again, one of my favourites is kind of number five. Beautiful, 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 beautiful colour cover. And uh, again, it's a, it's a very strange. He really likes to sign them on the side of the book. And I can only imagine that is because he takes pride in his in his covers so much that he doesn't want to sort of ruin them with his signature, which, fair play. <laughs> I, I can't fault him for that, to be honest. Um, last but not least, the, from S. Sad. I had a copy of King Thor. Now this was actually released a few days early because NICE were actually able to do that. This is the second year running. They've been able to get a, a comic uh, essentially released before it's official. And um, and it was, it was great to see it there. And uh, yes, I'll be very much looking forward to reading that. Part of a four part mini series to, to conclude Jason Aaron's run on, on Thor. So that'd be very good. But I think the best, the best thing that I've come across from Nice is this. Tales from the Border. Uh, I met the writer and the artist, and again, I don't want to butcher his name. Um, Andrew Salo, very, very nice person. And I'm gonna show you some, actually, let me show you some of the art. I don't want to ruin the book, really, but there we go. His artwork is just beautiful. Really, really beautiful. He's, um, he's got, it's like an anthology thing where there's a few different uh, stories in there. And I actually really like his essay on Nick Cave. Uh, he's obviously a fan and it was nice to hear this little personal experience. 
um, that he's had with Nick Cave uh, growing up. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Nick Cave myself, and it's, uh, it's really, really an interesting read. But uh, yes, that, uh, that was a very, very good read. Fantastic artwork. I really loved that, and I'm very much looking forward to issue two. And I believe it's going to be coming out very soon, so I'm going to be looking forward to that. Um, that is everything I've got from Nice. I've showed you my, my weird and wonderful things. Um, I really do think that this is one of the best cons that I've been to. It really is. I've been now two years in a row. And it is a proper Comic Con. There are no actors, no no like big Hollywood stars or anything like that. This is writers, director, writers, writers and artists, and they've been able to get some really, really, really good people there. And everyone that's gone from last year and this year, they've all been really down to earth and really friendly, and really incredible to talk to. Always wanting to. To talk to the fans and always wanting to give them that chance and it's it's amazing to to see people like that as all too often you see people that uh, that don't really want to give the time of day and that's unfortunate but these people they are obviously they obviously know that uh, nice is very much like that for the fans they know that they're going to have a good time uh it's been well documented that uh that the creators go for a uh, a few drinks after the first night, um, but it it is a fantastic comic con, and I would strongly recommend if if anyone ever gets the chance to go next. I believe they're still doing one next year. Again, it's around September time. I'll post up more about it uh, when it comes to the time in Bedford. Uh, it's normally Saturday, Sunday. I think it's t was it towards the end of the month, and it's. It's been a fantastic experience, it really has. And I would definitely suggest anyone who can get there to definitely give it a go. Right, well, I uh, I hope to see you guys hopefully in the next one, the next nice con. I will definitely be seeing you in the next video. Uh, I'll be doing one very shortly, just, uh, just about some more stuff. And um, I'll see you then.